Hello, this is Yang Park. We're going to do a PUSA 2010 microcomputer applications in business this summer. Okay, so let me introduce what we're going to do this summer. Again, my name is Yang Park. People call me Yang or Dr. Park. First of all, uh, we need to read the syllabus. So make sure you read the syllabus and uh, make sure you check those details in the syllabus at, at least once. Okay. And another important thing, uh, make sure you have the working, functioning webcam so that you can take the proctored U exams. Okay. Because we're going to have at least three proctored U exams. It's very important you have those equipments for the product to you. And again, all those details are in the syllabus as well as some uh, links. Okay. And um, Microsoft Office 2019. So that's what we need for this course, especially Excel, because we're going to use uh, Excel most of the time. So if you don't have Office installed in your computer, I think it's a good idea to get Microsoft Office 3065, which is free, on GSW website. All right, so let's see what we have on Georgia, I mean, GoView, which is our learning system. Once you log in, it will take you to the, uh, this is the course, main course, our course, which is from page, then you will have this announcement if you click the uh, course home. As you can see, the announcement will give you all those important information, news, you know, any updates we need to know, so we will be there. So make sure you check those announcements at least. Uh, once a day, okay, and textbook announcement is there. As a matter of fact, textbook, uh, you can, I think it is days so we use ebooks a lot, so I think it makes sense you get an ebook and uh, and proctor you testing uh, materials. I mean, on what they call access card, right? So you can do it with GSW uh, Bookstore or you can directly go to proctoryou.com, which is again is in the uh, link so that you can uh, purchase uh, Proctor U exam from there. And as you can see, there's a syllabus link so that you can read the syllabus. And if you click content, and it goes by module. Okay, so module one, two, three. I think we're going to have at least seven modules, which is the same as the number of weeks. So each module will carry some important uh, details and uh, assignments. Okay, uh, for example, what we're going to do in module one some uh, important skills in Excel and what pages you need to do, what, uh, what are your learning objectives, for example. I think it is a direct link to the assignments as well. So at the bottom of module, each module you have assignments or quiz and discussions. Not always the discussion, but uh, we have at least four discussions. So if you click each of them, it will take you to the details of, for example, assignment, quiz. It will open a quiz one, for example. Or you can directly go to each item by clicking assessments. And the assessment, you have assignments, you have grades, quizzes, rubrics. 
So you can go to assignment directly or quizzes. Okay, either way, you can go to the particular item that you want to go to. Under communication, you have chat class list, so it'll give you a list of students, discussion board, email, email is again under communication, or you can direct, directly go to this icon, which is email icon. So that's how it goes. In terms of particular assignment, let's open up assignment one for example. Here's the details of assignment one. What page you need to go to? So there's a page number in the textbook. So this particular assignment asks you to do case problem one located in EX1. 62 to ex163 which is page page numbers again okay another important detail always put your name in the header of each document okay so each time you submit file you need to do it right then here's the uh, data file you need to download okay just click and one right click It'll give you a data file so that you can download for your assignments. And once you finish, assuming you finish that, then you're going to click upload, right? So that you can attach whatever those files that you finished. Okay, so right there. And again, there's a proctor you. Uh, that you can go to, so you can log into ProctorU, and you can schedule it, you can pay it, you know, all those things you can do with this link. All right? So let's go back. I think we covered that, uh, those modules and items on Georgia view, I mean, Go view. And if you're taking ProctorU test for the first time, make sure to um, visit this link. I think these links are many places, not only this, here in the syllabus or GSW website, it give you a link to the ProctorU testing information. Okay. Any questions, let us know, because it's very important to understand you know, those steps you need to uh, go through for the testing and we have a a specialist for proctor u testing so that uh, she can help you if you have any problems and, and any uh, questions you may have so you can uh, email her or e uh, the phone number is right there i'm not sure she will be available with this phone in summer but uh, I think I need to check on it but again uh, she'll uh, help you right away if you send an email for example okay so. in terms of uh, the grading components right uh, we'll have at least three proctor tests the dates are given it's already out there so that you can schedule actually uh, as soon as you can so these are friday saturdays i believe friday saturdays and the last one which is final will be uh, july 26 july 27 assignments at least seven different assignments and a matter of fact the points are approximate um, because it may have changed depending on the progress or depending on the you know certain uh, assignments it may be reduced or add a little bit it's not like huge but it'd be like a few points for example and we'll have a four discussions on the discussion board 
n short quizzes for each module. So those questions, the quiz will be multiple choices or true or false or very short answered questions. Matter of fact, you have two attempts for each quiz, okay? So that you can try, you know, next time if you miss something in the first time. All right, late policy, okay, late assignment. Okay, once in a while, probably uh, need to submit late or you missed you know, a few hours, a day, but the policy of late uh, submission discourse, you'll have three makeup days, okay? Or you can miss, you can, uh, you can uh, late three days, or you can, uh, have a uh, three assignment. You have three assignment late one each day. So either way, uh, we'll do it. And late ended in when you have run out of those uh, makeup, then it'll be uh, ten percent. Uh, 10% per day uh, late penalty will be there, okay? So right there. And later assign submissions are not accepted after three days past the deadline, okay? And also the last assignment cannot be late, okay? Because it's, you know, someone is very short, uh, you know, we cannot have those last assignments can take as a late. And no makeup for quizzes or exam unless there's a uh, sickness, illness, or any family emergencies. Okay. All right, and uh, you need to understand we have free tutoring available, tutor.com. In fact, we have a link on GoView, I believe. Right there, free tutoring. Click that. Oops. Link is not working. I think either link to this page, I need to find out about free tutoring. Okay. Anyway, uh, you, they used to provide free tutoring available for Excel, so you can take advantage of it. So hopefully the link can be uh, recovered. In terms of accessibility services, if you need any accommodations and uh, contact us or contact the office or a uh, student with disability office, okay? Excuse me. Now, academic integrity, okay? Uh, it's very important if there's any uh, issue with academic integrity, there's a any offense in the uh, academic integrity, you'll get a zero for that particular assignment. If it happens again, then he or she will receive F in the schools. Okay, so important thing is just uh, need to ask me questions first, okay, before you spending, before you try to find out by yourself, okay? So it's a, best way to do it or quickest way to do it. Okay, so uh, let me know if you have any questions.